Hello Aquarius, happy Friday to you. Aquarius, I hope you're going to have a beautiful, relaxing weekend. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. You want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. So first, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, the universe, please step into your very clear and important messages for the sign of Aquarius. For Aquarius, highest good, please. The universe, please show us what's coming up for Aquarius in their life and how is Aquarius currently doing on their soulmate journey. What's coming up for Aquarius in their life? And how is Aquarius currently doing on their soulmate journey? Something got you very worried. This is you losing sleep over whatever it is you're worrying about. This is you mm, unable to stop thinking about something that's heavily on your mind. You're also worried too much about what's going on uh, around the world. This is you uh, worrying uh, about things that are beyond your control. Don't do that to yourself. Yeah. Don't do that to yourself because you can only worry about things that are in your control, that you can change. If you can't change it, don't worry about it. You, you can't change the situation, right? If it's beyond your control. This is you taking um, action with your job or business, wanting to make sure that you uh, manage your money correctly. Oh, what is going on at your job? Your job is showing up upside down. Something is going on at your job. Yeah, but let me see. This is up, upside down, which is not good. Let me see, universe, please show us. What's coming up for Aquarius in the life? And how is Aquarius currently doing on their soulmate journey? This is you trying to be strong, make wise decisions, not to fall uh, to too much negativity. Yeah, you see? So you see very clearly what you need to do. You just need to trust yourself, Aquarius. Your judgment is on point. Your intuition is great. You see things for what they truly are. Don't doubt yourself. Listen to your intuition. Yeah, beautiful. This is you taking proper steps uh, financially. <clears throat> oh, your soulmate loves you a lot. Yeah, they do, but they don't really show it like they should. This is you. Yeah, you worry about finances too much. And you also feel alone, not in a relationship with this soulmate that loves you. You don't feel you with them you've made some kind of mistake that you regret in this relationship you feel guilty about it whether you judge them harshly or told them off or cut them out of your life or said something that you wish you didn't say you regret it deeply yeah too much stress on your shoulders Aquarius too much stress on your shoulders Wow, you feel so heartbroken in your soulmate relationship. What happened? The worst card in the whole deck, Three of Swords, heartbreak. You feel devastated, heartbroken. <clears throat> you wish that uh, this person will give you another chance. So you've made some serious mistake that you recognize as a mistake, which is a good sign because we all make mistakes. Guess what? We all do it. But at least you're able to recognize it and you want to correct it. So that's a good sign. You see very clearly you've made some serious mistake in this relationship and you want to make amends. You want to correct it. Yeah. So that's good. You see it. We all make mistakes. Don't hold grudges toward yourself, but try to correct it and learn from it. Right. We all need to learn from our mistakes. We can't just ignore them because we're going to keep repeating them. Right. Universe, please show us. What's coming up for Aquarius in their life? And how is Aquarius currently doing on their soulmate journey? Ah, 
there's something brewing at your job. You feel like you always have to look over your shoulder, like you have to always defend yourself. Uh, you have a bunch of people who bring you toxic energy at your job and you feel always like you have to be on the defensive, like you can't just relax and be yourself. Be careful because some of those people um, are trying to sabotage your work. Be careful with passwords. <clears throat> wow. Yeah. Jealousy towards you. You are a pro at what you do. You have jealousy towards you. So you know what that means. When people are jealous, that means you're doing something right. Continue doing what you've been doing. Continue being proactive, passionate. Don't let negative people affect you with their negative behavior and um, attitude. Now, if you notice something being done unjustly, against the rules, regulations, make sure you report it in writing. It has to be done in writing so you have paper trail. Yeah, because you work with a bunch of toxic people who are, are capable of lying, manipulating. So when you report something, do it professionally, of course, but do it in writing so you have paper trail. That's the only way they'll address the issue. If you report it in person, they're going to change your words and kind of sweep it under rug. No, no, no. You need to report things of such importance in writing. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this is you not sure what you need to do with your job situation. Look how strong you are. You really are standing up for yourself. This is you uh, not allowing these toxic people walk all over you. You are a pro at what you do. Yeah, they need you. Yeah. New job opportunity showing up here for you. I would take it. But first, make sure you like the energy is positive towards you before you accept the position or job. Um, and then give resignation. Notice, but um, leave on peaceful terms. Don't burn any bridges, Aquarius. Yeah, it's very important. You don't burn any bridges when you leave um, the place of employment, when you're ready to go. You know, we show us um the soulmate of aquarius that aquarius has been dealing with that showed up as king of cups what's going on currently with that soulmate of aquarius that aquarius is not with at this time and how is that soulmate of aquarius towards aquarius especially emotionally what's going on currently with that soulmate of aquarius they're not communicating right now they're feeling heartbroken they're quiet they don't want to do anything they just want to process what happened they're not communicating yeah they're not sure if they should take action or let it go they view us moving on with your life as very powerful independent strong-willed with your back turned towards them they're checking up on you any way they can very curious what's going on in your life what you're thinking what you're feeling what you're planning yeah, they still love you, but this is them kind of in the background wondering if you love them or not. Universe, please show us. They feel like this relationship is failing at this time. And they are disappointed emotionally. Universe, please show us. Hmm. What's going on currently with that soulmate of Aquarius that Aquarius has been dealing with? Yeah, this person still loves you. Yeah, they feel so unbalanced in this relationship. Yeah, they feel unresolved. Yeah, you quiet, they quiet. You both are quiet. You're not really telling each other how you feel. They feel a great need to rush back towards you with communication of great importance to them because they're showing up here as Knight of Swords wanting to rush back towards you to communicate, but they silent right now and they realize you silent as well. You're not, and for those few of you that are communicating with this person at this time, the two of you are not really um, having a solid conversation that needs to be had. Yeah, that you both need to have. Uh, you're not having a solid conversation. They're checking up on you any way they can to see what you're up to, what you're doing. This has been an off and on relationship, off and on, off and on connection with a lot of misunderstandings. They feel, they feel that this communication is going to happen eventually. 
to be able to clear the air between you two. Be careful because there are some people around you, Aquarius, that are nosy, that like to gossip, that are in your business. Be careful who you trust with personal information, who you ask for advice because some of those people that surround you and this person are nosy and like to see people break up. Yeah, so uh, the answers are within you, Aquarius. You know what you need to do. You just have to trust yourself. This person that you're letting go of at this time is checking up on you any way they can to see what you're up to. If you really, if they can see some signs from a distance, if you really let them go for good or not. But this has been an in and out, in and out, in and out connection. There's a lot of drama going on at your job. People are bickering, fighting, arguing, gossiping. Stay away from gossip circles. Do not participate in any gossip. Don't take sides. Stay neutral. Yeah, be careful because some of those toxic people around you will try to reconcile with you to gain your trust again. Be careful. Yeah. Wow. Let me see what's going on here. This is them feeling unloved. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Aquarius that Aquarius has been dealing with. They're not sure they need to wait for you, reach out to you. They really want to clear the air with you, communicate with you. Yeah, this was a serious connection between you two. It wasn't a frivolous relationship. It was a serious relationship. Hmm. Yeah. This person is going to have an opportunity to travel somewhere far for job. Yeah. Somehow destiny will take them away uh, somewhere far. Maybe temporarily or for good. That has to do with job or business. Travel. Um, hmm. Well, with it. They accept that opportunity or not will be up to them. But certain things in life we cannot uh, control. Yeah, certain things are divinely ordered. And if we try to change things, um, it's not going to be good. So certain things happen in our life that are destined that we cannot control. Yeah, for example, meeting certain people. We have to meet them if we agree to meet them before we incarnate, right? Yeah. Wow, Aquarius, I hope this reading will help you greatly. If you need a personal reading, I'm going to attach my email so you can email me if you need a personal reading. Um, I'm wishing you a great weekend and talk to you soon. Love you guys.